Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. I just landed in Perth and look how many packages I've come home to. And I've got these ones as well here. I ordered some more lighting. What? A bath towel. <laughs> Um, I got some prints for my room, which I'm super excited for. I ordered two, wait, no, three. That is lighting. And then over here is everything else. So I'll unbox it all and show you guys what I got. How's the lighting? Don't mind my post plain look. Can we get some scissors? Key. New Chrissy slash Key has dropped. We hope you like the Styles we selected, can't wait to see them on you. Let's have a look. Oh, I love this packaging. Oh, whoa, these are sick. I love those. They remind me of the Ray-Bans that I have, the circle ones. All right. Oh, what's this? TDE. Oh, the Daily Edited. Oh, that's cool. Find your keys. <laughs> Get it? It's like a little key holder thing and then there's a mirror on one of them. That's so cute. Two other pairs. Oh, I like those ones as well. I just love big glasses or round glasses. They're like my favorite types of glasses. Oh, these are cool too. Remind me of the hindsight ones that I wear, but they're just a tad smaller. So cool. Thanks so much, Key. Okay, I think this is hideaway. Yes. Oh, what is this? Vanilla caramel body scrub. Oh my god. Vanilla caramel bubble bath? Are you kidding me? Nothing in here. Hideaway scented candle. No. Oh my god, in my favorite scent. Oh, maybe it's just a yeah. I've tried twisting it. Oh my God, that reminds me of that glass house one I've got here. Nah, it smells better than the glass house. This is Taha. I'm sure everyone knows what this candle is. How cool is that? I'll be replacing that one with this for sure. Yum. But yeah, if you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with Hideaway. And Vanilla Caramel is my favorite scent out of their whole range. I'll leave my discount code down below, but it's just jazz if you want to try. Honestly, it is the best body care brand I've ever freaking used. This one is from Silk Swim, which is Shani's new, not new, relatively new, um, swimwear. Oh my god, this color though. <gasps> wow. How gorgeous is this? I would wear this as a bodysuit, like with jeans. I think I said medium. Yeah, medium, because I was just unsure if the small would have been too small on my boobs, um, but I'm super excited to try these on. I'll do a little try on on my Insta stories, or maybe even on this vlog if I get a chance tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I love this top. Reminds me of the Myra Swim two-piece. That is so pretty. And then I think these are the matching high-waisted bottoms. Yeah. How good. I actually love when brands have these little, um, I think these are actually eco-friendly. Yeah, eco-friendly like biodegradable pouches because I use them for traveling. Like I'll put my shampoos and conditioners or whatever is gonna leak. Like for example, if I'm traveling with my hideaway body oils and body custards, I seal them in bags like this. I know Stax and Eamon also do them, but yeah, keep these because they are perfect for traveling. Even like, yeah, just the most random shit. You can use them for like dirty undies or socks or whatever, just to keep them um, apart from all your clean clothes when you're traveling. So yeah, and they're also the perfect size, so. Yeah, just a little travel hack. I'm off somewhere new at the end of the month and I am so excited. I don't know how much I can share, but a little hint, I need a passport to go there. So it's obviously not in Australia. Okay, we've got some Asano Advanced Brightening Vitamin C Serum and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Grace! Oh my god, 
good. Hey cutie, thank you so much for supporting my very own collection with Beginning Boutique. Hope you love it as much as I do. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to message her. Oh, she sent me some. I was actually gonna buy some. Okay, I love these. And I love the jeans as well. These are a size 10. Hopefully they fit, they look a little bit tiny, but I'll definitely try them on. Thank you so much. And I love this top. It's like one of those cropped long sleeve tops that do up around here. Oh my God, that's amazing. Wait, how does this work? I think it's just like this and it's backless. I'm gonna have to try that on. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Size 10 as well. Well, thank you so much, Gracie. I can't wait to wear them. Cute. Also love these bags as well for traveling, like to put your shoes in and stuff. I ordered um, some of the banana protein because it is one of my favorites. Ice away banana. Macros on this one. 5.2 grams per serve. Oh no, sorry, 1.3 grams per scoop. I was reading um, per 100 grams. Yeah, 1.3 grams per serving. So I can make chopped banana smoothies. And then I just got a Isopep Zero in mocha latte because I've never tried this flavor before. Have you tried it? The mocha latte one in the HP Labs, Peter? No. I'm excited I got it. Um, and then I just got another shaker. Uh, so I thought there was something else in there, or is that it? Maybe that's it. I got a big ass package from Amen. They just released their new, it kind of looks like coffee, like coffee inspired, ribbed, seamless collection. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, so, oh my God, how good are these? The traveling as well. I got, Oh my God, this is so cool. Reminds me of the IMG, uh, you know, those oversized jackets. I got a size medium in this one because I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized. Let's give it a whiz. That's comfy. I got that and then I got the tracksuit set. I need to charge my laptop. All right, I got the tracksuit. This has got a hood on it. I'm not gonna try this one on, I might just try it on, on stories. Love that color. I got the joggers as well. I think I got these ones also in a size up, yeah, medium. I should have probably gotten a large, to be honest, because I did want that oversized look, but they do taper in um, at the ankle, so they wouldn't be flowy. Can't wait to try them. Some bike pants, the matching crops. Oh, and these are the full length. How nice is this color? I think this is express, espresso? Yeah, espresso ribbed seamless. I'm a size small um, in the seamless range, the ribbed seamless, and I find that's a good fit. They're squat proof as well, and they're just super comfortable and flattering. I'll do a try on, um, on my Instagram story, or maybe even on my vlogs tomorrow. But I've got a discount code with Eamon as well. It's just Jazz10. This one is, oh, this is a, I think, 7, 8 length. Lighter color, I think it's in the color latte. Yeah. So these ones are 7, 8. And then I think I got a matching long sleeve. Yeah, got the matching espresso long sleeve. I love these tops in winter. They look so cute when you're matching. Um, and then I got the bras. These are super comfy. I sometimes even wear these to bed. That's how comfy they are. So again, I get a size small in the crops. The espresso bike pants. Oh my God, these are so cute. And then the espresso crop. Thank you so much, Eamon. I can't wait. Definitely gonna have to do a little try on haul tomorrow for you guys. Oh my God, are these pajamas? Get out. How cute. 
These look a little bit big. What size are they? 12. Oh, that's fine. The brand called Kasha? Kachia? I'm not sure, but I'll leave everything as I always do listed down below. They look so comfy. I actually prefer oversized um, shorts or pants when I'm sleeping. This is so cute. Thank you so much. Love. Yeah, I'll leave the brand down below. All right, I've gotten some from Lounge Underwear. I got their new tracksuit set. I got in the nude color. How cute is it? Look, it's like a cropped nude um, jumper, obviously. And then this is their new sort of like top, like crop top slash sports bra. Like I would sleep in this because I always have to sleep in some sort of crop um, to support. I think I got a medium, maybe even a large. Large, yeah, because I have ordered before through lounge and I got a medium thinking, oh yeah, it'll be a bit comfy. They are sized quite small. So if you're wanting a more like comfy fit, especially in like trackies, go up a size. So I went um, a size large this time just so they are extra like baggy and I like that look. Um, but yeah, these are just the same color. Super excited to try that on. More pajamas. I love these. <gasps> They're silky. Oh my god, winter pajamas. How cute. These ones are also in a size medium. Matching bottoms as well. I think these are long. Yep. Love. These ones in a wait, what size are these ones? Large. Love that. Love being comfy when I'm sleeping. I'm so excited. Yeah, I think I got some. Oh, yes. They've hooked me up. All right. I might do a YouTube video, maybe like a try on. Oh, that's a bit cheeky. Their undies are actually really comfortable. Um, I get a size medium in the undies. I love their seamless ones. I've got a few already. But these are so freaking comfy because they're seamless and they've got lace behind um i don't have a discount code but i'll try and get one and if i do get one i'll leave it in the description box but yeah i get a medium in all of the underwear oh my god i'm so excited that is like the same color as the um tracksuit that i showed you guys also in a medium i got this like bralette would look so cute if you wanted to wear it out with like a blazer over the top um, or you could just wear it to bed. Super comfy. Oh, this one's cute. This one's so cute. Oh, I love this. In the bras, I think I get 32, no, 34 double D. I got a bigger size. I think last time I got a 32 and I don't like my bras super tight. Um, I prefer them comfy. So that's why I got a 34, which I think equates to around a size, is it 12 or 10? Anyways, I don't like bras digging in. Like I literally always order a size bigger than I am. Yeah, matching thong, medium as well. Mm, I like these, these are so hot. What about this one? That's cute as well. I freaking love lounge. They've got the coolest stuff. This is a blue, oh, this blue is nice. Wow. I think I saw this on Instagram. So the bottom and then the top is the same as that pink one, I think. Yeah. I'm actually so glad. Yeah, 30, yeah. Oh, this is a 36. Hold on. Maybe my ones are a 34 and then this is a size up 36, which is a 12. Just for a little bit more comfort. So yeah, double D 36, which is a 12, sorry. And the 34, I think is a 10. They both fit, but as I said, I think the 34 is just a little bit on the tighter side. Mm, this is so cute. Another mesh one. You could, like if you wanted to wear this underneath something, like underneath like a, a sheer top, you could wear nipple covers if you didn't want to show your nipples. 
So obviously you could wear them as an outfit or you can wear them to bed, whatever. But yeah, I'll try these on for you guys and let you guys know because yeah, they are bomb. Okay, last but not least, well not completely last because I did get some lights, some more lights for filming, boring. But if you guys want me to show you when I've set it up, I will. Um, I just got them from eBay. I got some LED lights just because I want my YouTube videos to be a little bit brighter when I'm filming makeup ones. I just don't like adjusting the light on my editing. Um, so I thought I might buy a set of LED lights just to see how that goes. They were pretty cheap. I think they were like 50 bucks or something from eBay. So I ordered some prints from Olive Toriel. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, oh my God, you're gonna absolutely die. I'm so excited. I think I ordered two frames and three prints. Actually, no, there's three frames. Did I say three frames? I'm not sure, but wait until you see. <gasps> okay. This one, wow. Okay. This one is going to go in between our walk in wardrobes. So, where that, um, dried flower canvases. I'm gonna replace it with this. Wow. For some reason, I thought that these were covered in glass, but I kind of like that they're not, they don't have a glass surface like normal frames do. Or maybe it does and it, I just like it. it, looks cool. Got this frame. Not sure if it's glaring, but it says Vogue in gold. And then it's a picture of a girl in swimwear. I'm not sure how well you can see it. And it's like a black and white photo because our room's like black, white, and gray. I just thought that would look so cute in between both of our walk-in wardrobes. So I got that one. And then I got another one for either my makeup room or maybe like my walk-in wardrobe i'm not sure but when i saw it i was like need okay this is the next one how pretty is it it's so me as well so yeah i'm not sure where i'm gonna put that one of my filming rooms beauty room or maybe walk-in wardrobe i'm not sure but yep got that one for the one above the bed, it was so hard to choose, but I wanted something that would match any sort of linen like that I had on the bed or just like the room in general. So when I don't have the blush sheets on, there is barely any like pink in the room. Um, I didn't want like anything too out there, but I saw this and I thought it would complement the room so well. <gasps> it is honestly so pretty. It's so much prettier in real life. Okay, ready? How pretty is that? It's like not too pink. It's more of like a sort of similar to my Stux collection, that like mauvey purpley pink color. Very subtle, but I didn't want anything like, I don't know, if, I feel like if I did like a, a beach pick or I don't know, anything else, it wouldn't have really gone with the theme of the room. So I feel like this would match the room perfectly and would look bomb with the blush sheets that I got from Bed Bath & Table. Would still look good with the um, grey sheets that we've got as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought that this would go with majority of my linen and just the room so i'm super excited to put that up and i like how they're not super heavy um they're actually really light surprisingly so yeah once again they are from the brand called olive to real um i'll leave their website link and instagram down below if you want to check them out they've got so many nice prints like honestly I, it was so hard to choose um the prints for my room um so yeah that's everything that i got I haven't 
really eaten anything besides a kebab salad at Sydney Airport. So I might just make avocado on toast. I'm not that hungry. Um, and pack all this up. So yeah, I will chat to you guys later. Okay, so before I forget, I'll show you guys my Decenio prints. So I've already actually put this one in a frame. I just get my frames from Kmart or even Ikea. They're super cheap. Um, but I just love this butterfly one. And it just fits perfectly in the pantry. So I got that one. And then these are the other prints that I got. So Decenio um, is like a print-based website. You can get little like um, clips that you can attach the prints on and put them on your wall. But it's just mainly prints and then you get your own... Um, like frames like I showed you before. So these are the ones that I chose. I got a few like cuter ones this time. So I got that butterfly and then I got this one for the study. I think that looks super cute. Um, obviously I need to get a frame for that, but they're so easy to find the frames. And then I got this Coco Paris one. I thought it would look really cool with my Chanel one. Um, this one's a little bit smaller in size than the other one, but I'll leave all the um, dimensions in the description box down below if you're interested. And then the last one that I got was also for the study. It's this New York City one because it's one of my favorite cities in the world and I just love this photo. I think it would look really, really cool in the study. So on the website right now, they have a 25% off promo, but if you use my code, which I'll leave down below, you can get an extra 10% off that. So yeah, I'll leave that in the description box. Um, so these are the other little prints that I got. I got this, I don't know, I thought it would just be really cute in like my beauty or makeup rooms, like in a tiny frame, just in the background, not sure. Um, and then I got these two, again, not sure, but I just really like the vibe. I'm into sparkles at the moment, if you haven't really known from my Instagram, like how cool is this? Not sure where I'm gonna put it. But maybe, I don't know, do you even put stuff like this in the bathroom? I don't know. I just thought it looked really cool and I love the lips as well. I could put this anywhere. Filming room as a background, makeup room, who knows. But yeah, I got those five prints from Decenio. And once again, I will leave the codes and I'll leave the links to these prints down below and what size I got as well. Also, while I was in Sydney, PSA, in David Jones, if you spend over $150 on Dior perfumes or I think makeup, you get this for free. How cute is it? It's like a little, um, it's like a nylon like makeup case. It's quite small, but it's really cute. And then you get the mini size of the new Miss Dior perfume, which I actually brought the um, full size of. So, so yum. I don't really like Dior perfumes. Like I've, like they're all right, but not like, nice enough for me to buy but this one's really nice and then this is a lipstick a little travel sized red lipstick and then these are just the two other samples that you get but how freaking cute is this baby pink makeup case so yeah david jones have that offer on at the moment if you want to stock up on dior oh my god now nah, i walked into the room look how peter's made the bed what is that this was cute though because I always leave notes under his pillow when I leave. So he's written, I love you more. That's really cute. But like, sorry. <sighs> nah, I'm pretty mean. Um, look, I've just put our Vogue painting canvas on the wall. There was a hook there already um, when I bought the house. So it's perfect. I love it so much. Peter's going to have to do something about that but oh my god how cool does it look i can't wait to finish it might put the chanel one there and then maybe the coco one oh i don't know we'll give it a go we'll see what it looks like but i think that looks so cool there what do you guys reckon good morning guys i actually didn't vlog yesterday i don't know why i was unpacking um some more of the boxes that um, came last week before I left to Queensland. I still have so much work to do. I need to actually go to Big W today and get some more coat hangers because I've got four bags of clothes. Not sure where I'm going to put them, maybe in the spare rooms, but one whole bag is like winter clothes, like coats and jackets and 
trousers and leggings and all of that. Um, I do have one filled with active wear and if you guys have seen my wardrobe, it is jam packed full. So I don't know where, that, where I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna sell some on Depop. Um, I have I put some clothes aside. Um, so when I get around to that, I will. I'll leave my Depop down below. Um, usually I just use Instagram to sell my clothes, but I think Depop is like the new way of doing it. Um, so yeah, I'll upload that. I don't know if I'll do it this week or next week. I'm about to go to Pilates. I'm just having a coffee. I actually brought some of that cold brew with me to Perth. I just put it in a um, one of those thermal tumblers so they stay cold. And that was the last of the cold brew. I love it. I think I'm going to order some more. Um, but yeah, I'm off to Pilates this morning. We're going to go to the shops, go to my PO box because yesterday it was closed um, because of the public holiday. So yeah, I'll show you guys if I end up getting anything. And yeah, oh, that's what I was going to say. Today I'm actually filming a what I eat in a day slash the supplements that I'd recommend. Um, yeah, like throughout the day I'll be just filming myself eating basically and just recommending sup. So that'll be up probably before this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish my coffee and then head to Pilates. Hey guys, I just got back from Pilates. I just made a chopped banana protein shake. Today is going to be a little bit hard because I'm juggling two different videos. I'm filming obviously like my weekly vlog and then I'm filming a what I eat in a day slash what sups I'd recommend um, and just the sups that I take. So I'm taking out like two SD cards and filming two separate videos. So if I get confused then sorry in advance. But yeah, I just made a chopped banana protein shake with the Isoway Zero, which I tried for the first time. I have tried banana protein powders before and I love them and obviously being on keto or low carb you can't have bananas so yeah if you miss chalk banana protein shakes the combo that I just made is freaking amazing so yeah keep an eye out for that video I just got back from the PO box I didn't have that much because yeah I think Peter picked up majority of my stuff on Friday but there's just one parcel here that I'll open and show you guys what I got I also got some more macro bread because I was running low let's see what's in here is that not the cutest bowl you've ever seen in your life they remind me of barley acai bowls oh my god I love it new life cocoa bars let's just check the macros oh they're a bit high in carbs for keto but Let's see the ingredients on here. So obviously I have lots of non-keto followers as well. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a bite and see how they go. Espresso latte. They're plant-powered, gluten-free, date-free bars. This one has 14 grams of carbs, 9 sugars, but I think that's all natural sugars. Organic coconut, desiccated coconut, um, Australian almond meal, natural flavor, Arabic coffee powder. So pretty good ingredients, but unfortunately, is that even focusing? There. Um, yeah, unfortunately these aren't keto, but I'm sure Peter will eat them when he's not on keto. Oh my God, look what just arrived at my door. PR goals. Okay. All right, let's open it. What? Look at the spoon. Peter's like, what? I'm so excited for this. These are my favorite flavors of Donata. Double chop, mint chip, vanilla, and then the new salted caramel. What is this? A cute little hoodie. Thank you so much. That is so freaking cool. Um, you can get them from Coles now. They do stock in Coles or IGA. But you can't get the new flavors, the vegan range in Coles yet. But um, she just said that they're working on it. Literally the best ice cream ever. So these arrived today. I'm not sure if I ended up telling you guys that I did. But I ordered these curvy mum jeans because I saw on Riley's story she ordered some. And she said that they're perfect for those that have a smaller waist and bigger sort of thighs slash legs. So I ordered them straight away and she said that they're quite true to size. Um, so I did order a 10 because that's what I normally get in jeans, but they were just a little bit, well, maybe like one, even one and a half sizes too 
small, uh, too big, sorry. So I went online straight away and like had a look at their refund policy and it was just a little bit much because it's in international order. Anyway, so I just ended up posting on Instagram and seeing if anyone wanted just to buy it for the price that I bought them for. So hopefully I can sell them. So I just jumped online and ordered a size eight in both. Um, actually, no, I think I ordered a six in, in one and an eight in one just to see because I just wasn't sure if I needed two or one sizes smaller. Anyways, they're really good. I could tell, even though they were too big, that they were um, more fitted around the waist. Anyways, I'll show you guys when I get that order, but yeah, American Eagle Curvy Mum Jeans. After the gym, I went to my PO box and I got a lot of goodies. This was so random. Pam D Beauty sent me so much stuff. To be honest, I'm actually quite excited to try this personal micro dermabrasion kit. I've seen people use this online and I was actually going to buy one months ago. So I'm actually going to try this one and let you guys know. Um, this is a soothing antioxidant cleanser. This is like a vibrating facial brush, sort of similar to my Pepe & Co one, I guess. Um, collagen sheet mask. What's this? A anti-age recovery moisturizer. I've never actually heard of this brand. And <laughs> enhancing lip treatment. Like what? I'm going to try that for lols and see if it actually works. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try this and I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, and then I got this parcel from Bella Beauty, which has just got some eyelashes. I got some Fenty Beauty new products. I actually yesterday put all of my products still in packaging in a box and donated it to a charity event um, where they do raffle tickets and they raise money for a um, disease. But yeah, when I get more information, because I, I did it through Peter's mum, she picked it up yesterday. It was like a box like that full of makeup that I just won't ever get around to using. Um, but yeah, I got some Browsings Pro Palette from Benefit, a Sephora mascara, and then probably my favorite package is my low carb emporium package. So each month I stock up on my faves. I got some new stuff as well. Um, I got some more of my Slendia Edamame Bean noodles slash pasta. Um, these are super low cal and low carb and good for keto. I I've had a few people ask me if I've had like digestion issues with them, but I've they've never really reacted with my stomach or have never made me feel weird or bloated. So yeah, some people do experience like belly pains eating these. Um, I can't stand the cognac noodles, like the clear ones anymore. Ugh, the smell just puts me off. So I'm so glad that these exist because I can make pasta. This is my favorite sauce, the keep it cleaner one. I got some organic basil so I can make like pesto um, stuffed chicken breast or stuff like that with cheese on top. Got some more coconut oil. These are my favorite snacks ever, Beach Harvest coconut chips. Um, I love these. A lot of people don't. I love it. For some reason, this cacao, lemon, and coconut ketogenic bar, it's very different. It does have an acquired taste, but I love it. So don't don't come for me if it's if you don't like it. I'm just saying I love it. Um, but yeah, a few people have up DM'd me and they're like, oh, I tried this and it was so gross. Like, how do you stomach it? Because like it does taste fatty, but don't know. I just like it. Um, this is the mingle seasoning that I put in my spag bowls. You can also get this from Coles, and you can get that from Coles too and them. Um, but I just thought as I'm making an order, I'll add them to my cart. Um, I use half a sachet when I'm making um, a bolognese for like four servings. So usually for four servings or maybe even three because Peter eats more than me. I use one whole packet, one whole sauce container and then half of this. Um, and then I add half an onion sometimes. I got some more of my favorite air dried steak. I got these to try because I've never tried them before but they're basically just like cheese balls. Um, sweet chili and sour cream and then I got pizza supreme. I might try them today actually. These are on sale for some reason. I actually love these. I dipped it in some, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a cacao hazelnut spread. I think I got it from Coles, quite good macros, but they were so yum dipped in. Um, yeah, they're really nice for a treat. And then I got these cause I want to make some keto tacos, sorry, nachos, not tacos with them. They're really good and good macros as well. Also, Peter's been loving having chicken, like keto chicken nuggets. Um, and usually what I would crumb it with is some almond flour, some spices and um, some psyllium husk. But 
I'm going to try and make like chicken schnitzel and even like little popcorn chicken with the pork crackle crumb. I've seen a few people um, do this, so and I saw this on the website, and I was like, that is absolutely perfect. So, yeah, next time I make like a chicken schnitzel, I'll use this as the crumb. Um, also, this was new that I saw on their website, Keto Crispy Cauliflower Sea Salted Bites. Four grams of carbs per serve, which is the whole pack. So I'll try them and let you guys know. I haven't tried these. These are the Keto Crackers Salt and Pepper. Let's check the carbs, 0.8 per serving. There's three servings in that. Probably demolish that whole thing in one sitting with guacamole, knowing me. Um, but that's not too bad, so it's like less than three grams for the whole thing. I'll let you guys know on my stories anyways how it goes. I think I got some Vital Works in here from memory. Um, this is literally my favorite protein bar ever. This, the flavor of it is on point, and I absolutely love it. I'll have this as a snack in between meals if I feel hungry. They've got great macros and only about 160 cal, which is pretty good. Um, 0.9 carbs, 0.3 sugars. Love them, but I put them in the fridge so they're nice and cold. And then I just got one um, block of the white chocolate coconut rough, which I will make treats out of. Um, but yeah, I will leave my code for Low Carb Emporium down below, which can get you, I think, 5% off. Um, but yeah, I'll leave that down below. So not sure if you've... My fridge is an absolute mess, so don't mind that. I made my favorite chocolates in my What I Eat in a Day video. So um, I think that'll be... Yeah, that'll be up before this vlog for sure. If not, it, it's coming soon. And this is my... Um, keto caramel slice my recipe is on my instagram under caramel slice if you want to check it out i got the recipe from l herself on instagram so yeah that's just really nice um, as a little sweet treat i cut them intentionally into really small bits um just because otherwise i'll probably eat like 500 calories worth if i do um but yeah it's just like bite-sized little caramel slice pieces so yeah we were planning on going to the city today because we needed a few things, but we've had some issues with our gas. Don't even ask. So we're organizing that today. Um, so I might film a video, maybe a makeup video. I'm not sure. I need to wash my hair though. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to really update you guys on. I did make progress with unpacking yesterday. I unpacked two of my clothing bags even though i can't fit it in my current wardrobe i put it in a spare um but yeah also i went to big uh not big w actually yeah big w and woolies today no paper towels or toilet paper like luckily i bought a bulk pack from big w a couple weeks ago like the literal massive one i think it has like 30 rolls in it so we're sweet for ages but like what if we actually we're on our last roll and we needed more like how the hell are we meant to get toilet paper like this whole coronavirus thing is just blowing way out of proportion here in australia like people are freaking out like when i went to the shops um before there was this lady like like with a trolley full of like tuna spam um tissues there was a few tissues left that she pretty much like took um, all of the stock. Um, what else did she have in there? Long life milk, like shit that you would stock up if there was like an apocalypse or something. Like I was like, what is going on? So yeah, I just, I found it bizarre. Like relax. I'm just going to put all this stuff away and yeah, I might film a video. So I'll keep you guys updated. Good morning guys. Had a little bit of a late start this morning. I went to the gym and I went to do a booty bar class by the way this isn't coke that i'm drinking it's just a coke cup i've got my genora in there um yes yeah, so i did a booty bar class came home we actually have a wedding to go to tomorrow one of peter's friends is getting married um and peter doesn't have dress shoes so we have to go out and get dress shoes i want to look in kmart or even target or maybe even big w to get storage baskets for my linen closet because i've been so obsessed with organizing my stuff i'm gonna get like acrylic tags and um from the little label co and just get baskets so everything's all sorted like all my linen beach stuff like sheets and stuff like that so i'm gonna have a look there because i've seen a few photos on pinterest and stuff like that and i've seen some similar baskets in kmart and target and if i find some i'll obviously let you know 
Um, but yeah, I want to organize my whole linen closet. So it's all nice and organized because right now it's just looking like a shambles. I have made some progress. Even though I've just put a couple boxes in the spare room just so it's out of the way. Um, we have kind of stopped looking for a dining table because, yeah, we just haven't found the perfect one. And I guess we don't really need it right now. So we're kind of just like, eh. Um, we're going to hopefully bolt the TV on the wall today. We just need to get a few bolts from Bunnings. Honestly, this has just been like so annoying um after the tv's mounted maybe next week we'll go and have a look at entertainment units but we've got an iron one from ikea just a really basic white one um yeah we're thinking white because it would look nice with the black tv or even black um but yeah that was just a nice one in ikea that we found oh that's right i already put it away i got a parcel from 180 cakes today um, they sent me their new caramel cake with frosting. Actually, I might keep that out and make that um, this afternoon. What do I need? She did say instead of using cream, I can use almond milk, which I might. Um, unsalted butter, I'll probably just use coconut oil for eggs. And then for the frosting, I do need butter or a dairy-free spread. So I'll make that. And then um, Low Carb Emporium sent me... Um, their new product that they've gotten in. I'm so excited to try. I'll try it today. Uh, well, tonight after dinner, they've got some carrot spice cake and banana nut cake. These are from the US. Um, pretty good macros, actually. Three grams net carbs, two grams net carbs um, for a keto carrot and banana cake. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Oh, and a blueberry one. we got to go. So I will chat to you guys later. So we just got back from the shops. I ended up buying a new suitcase because the wheel on my old one broke. So I got this amazing pink one and I also got like the mini one as well. I think, yeah, it was from Strand Bags. It was half price and I got a mini one on the inside. But yeah, how cute is this color? Did end up going to Kmart. So I got a bunch of um, baskets for like my linen closet. So this is gonna be I saw this matching plant as well. I reckon that's super cute. Um, this is going to be for toilet paper. And then I bought six of the these ones. So just like that. And then I'm getting acrylic tags made to label everything. And then I just saw this little one. Not sure what I'm going to use for that one yet. I got some more um, Kmart frames for my prints. The ones that I got from Desenio. So I'll put them in and show you guys. I'm just cooking some lunch for me and Peter. We're just going to have chicken with greens. There's just bok choy and broccolini in there. And then just um, chicken breast. I've just seasoned it. And yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to have for lunch. I also got these from Kmart. I was just walking past the guys section. But how cool are these track pants? How much were they? I think they were like $15 or $20. Um, I got a medium because they're men's and I wanted them to be a bit baggy, but I just love the color. How comfortable do these look? I didn't even try them on, but hopefully they fit. Here's our lunch. That's mine. I might even have like an avocado on toast on the side as well. But yeah, just bok choy and broccolini cooked in garlic butter and then just chicken breast. This is my current linen closet. So you can see why it gives me anxiety like everything's just all over the place this is all my towels i've already put some in there but that's what that'll look like just like random shit everywhere i need to get hooks for my mops and stuff like that and brooms um like for here so they can just be you know stuck on the wall um i got this from bunnings how cute is it yeah just randomest stuff up there um I'm not going to even show you behind me because I still need to do that. But yeah, I'm going to spend some time rearranging my linen closet, making it all pretty. As I said, I am getting tags from um, Little Label Co. Like little swing tags so I can label like bath mats, linen, fitted sheets, towels and all of that. So um, yeah, I'll update you guys on the progress. So this is what the linen closet looks like so far. Look how much tidier it looks. I still need to fill that, but I have nothing really to put in there. Um, and then the bottom is just beach stuff and toilet paper. That was for the, the round one. 
I've just got my toilet paper in that. I'm sure I'll find um, other things to put that in, maybe towels as well. Um, but yeah, this is bath mats. These are sheets, pillowcases, cleaning stuff for my co. Um, just like hand towels. I think I need another one for dirty towels. Like, I don't know, that I can use. Sometimes I use like um, dirty towels, not dirty towels, but like old towels on the couch when I'm tanning. And I don't want to um, ruin the couch. There are towels. We obviously have heaps more than that, but they're just in the wash. So I might even just have that whole um, shelf for towels and then just put that stuff down there. But that's what it looks like so far. Not very interesting, but just looks a little bit more neat. Good morning, guys. Oh my God, I'm so tired. It's only like 7.30. I've got to knock at the door. Oh, and i got a parcel. Oh. Um, I think I know what it is. I ordered some flowers, some dried flowers online. I think it was called Sonda Boutique, but they took ages to come here. I ordered it like, I feel like I ordered it like three weeks ago. Anyways, um, yeah, well, this is really light. For some reason, I thought these were gonna be bigger. Like, what the fuck is that? And they were not cheap. They were like, I think I paid like a hundred and something dollars for them. Okay, let me just take him out of this. Okay, I'm not like, okay, let's just see. Let's just see what they look like first before I become disappointed. I don't know, like on the website, I actually bought these through an Instagram ad or something. Um, I think they looked a bit better online, but oh well. Um, I'm not sure if I should undo that rubber band or just leave them like that. I mean, they are cute, but I just thought they'd be like this tall, like at least up to there, because I was going to have it on the floor, but yeah. I guess they're cute. Not for a hundred and something dollars, though. I think they were like $140. Okay, these are really cute. Look at them. That's real cute. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna, how I should. Oh yeah. I might spread them out, but okay, it's looking better. Nah, that is actually pretty cute. Not gonna lie. I might just spread these around. Also yesterday I got around to putting all of my new prints from Desenio in the frames. So this one and then this one I plan to go in the study. So I've got like a bookshelf coming. Um, so I think that's going to go on like the bookshelf. Like I'll lean it against the wall like on the bookshelf. And then this one will go like above the desk. I don't have a proper desk yet. Um, but yeah those two are for the study. I was thinking for these ones, um, bathroom. So yeah, I don't know where, how I'm gonna hang that up, but I just think that's so freaking cute with the sparkles. Um, and then this Coco one um, in one of my beauty rooms, I'm not sure yet. I do have the glitter lips print as well, but I need a frame like that because it's the same size. I stuffed up and got a different size. I think I got another size of that one because I, I don't know why I thought I had another print that large. Um, but yeah, they're my prints from Desenio. So yeah, I'll leave the links down below and the discount code. Um, as I said, you can save, I think, 35% off. Oh my God, look what just came as well. I got a Sitting Pretty Halo hair extension um, just for when I want to wear my hair out because I feel like I always just use my pony. Um, I'll show you guys how I put it on, but I owned one of these ages ago, but I did the dumb mistake of cutting it myself. I shouldn't have cut it. I should have just left it. Um, yeah, but basically if you wanted it cut like naturally, or if you wanted it cut a little bit shorter, um, which I think I might next time I go to the hairdressers, I might just get her to blend it in. So it's just a little bit longer than my hair. Cause I just want it for like thickness really. Um, but yeah, this is, I think, 20 inch, but I'll put it in today because I'm going to a wedding. 
um, and see how it goes. Um, but if it does look a little bit too unnatural because it hasn't been cut, um, I might just wear my hair as it is. But yeah, I got the shade. I think it's cream blonde. Yeah, cream blonde number 20C. Um, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. But yeah, I loved it when I had my other one. It just didn't really look as natural because I cut it myself. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do love the concept of these, so I will keep you guys posted. Hey guys, um, feel a bit rusty this morning, even though we didn't get home. Well, what time did we get home? Like 12-ish. I went all out last night. I was like, oh yeah, I'll try and stick to like the low carb options, but it was just too hard. I just had, what do we have? Like a gnocchi for entree. It was so good. Um... Then I had like a roast chicken with sweet potato and then dessert was like a shortbread almond strawberry cake and I was like oh. Got an instant headache after because of all the sugar in it and then I had some um, of the wedding cake and it was so nice I didn't really vlog that much over that time because obviously I'm not gonna bring my freaking vlog camera to someone else's wedding um, But yeah, we've had like a really slow morning but I did wake up and I was like, I need to make this 180 Cakes Caramel Cake. Oh yeah, by the way, before you guys ask, I am wearing the new Amen, um Ribbed Seamless Crop um, that I got in my haul. I absolutely love it. I get a size small in all Amen, And then these are the Cara Lee Active Bike Pants, which is also one of my favorites at the moment. Just really comfy. They don't dig in. They just kind of like sit on your body real nice. Um, so yeah. Oh my god, look at the cake. <gasps> I did just choose to make it into like slices just because I know that the cake wasn't going to rise enough. So I think they just look perfect just as they are. I just cooked it in a normal like brownie tin. Holy shit. Yum. These are the macros for those wondering. Right there. Good morning, guys. I haven't really... Ooh. Dirty. haven't really been on much like on my vlogs i've just been kind of like chilling out what is is there something on the lens no i've just been chilling out with peter pretty much um organizing the next few weeks which are freaking hectic let me just tell you i'm going overseas with a brand and i'm just sorting my shit out sorting my life out um but yeah i've just been like super super busy um, obviously, I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can, but today we're just going into the city. I need to get a few things. I need to get some extra strength bobby pins for my ponytail extension because I've lost them all. They're the only ones that seem to hold my extension in place. Um, I've got about 10 just normal ones in, so we're just going to go do a little bit of shopping, maybe get some lunch. Um, but yeah, we're in Peter's other car. Oh, um, so I'll chat to you guys later. Hey guys, so we just got back from the city. I did forget to tell you guys that I had an Apple appointment because you know how on my stories I was posting about um, like it comes up on my Apple watch like every five minutes saying I have to put in my Apple ID which is so annoying um, even after I put in the password or even if I click cancel it just keeps popping up so yeah I went there and then they told me I had to like back up my iPhone and restore to factory settings and then unpair my watch and then pair it again so i'll see if that works i got a few things but i'll show you guys when i get home i'm just gonna go help peter with his car so yeah i'll talk to you guys in a sec okay so we didn't actually end up really getting much from the city well we went there to go and drop off my shoes my chanel shoes because i tried to clean them with that sneaker cleaner but i think i made it worse because of the suede i just I just rather take it to a professional anyways that same company that um, I got the shoe cleaners from they have a shop in Perth that offers cleaning services I just thought I just didn't want to wreck it and I didn't want to ruin it because I obviously don't know what I'm doing um, especially for suede they did say because I did message them and they were like yeah it is quite hard so if you want to bring it in so I went and took my Chanel shoes in to get cleaned um, I just went to price them because I needed to get those bobby pins um, I didn't end up really getting the ones that I wanted, but I found these models prefer ones and on the packet it said extra hold um, Super grip ones. So we'll see how those go um, I've seen people use these when they're um, Putting in their ponytail extension. They're the knit pony wraps 
um, I feel like they would give you a really firm hold. I just use, like I said, I think in my other vlogs, I can't actually remember where my scrunchie is from, but it's kind of losing its hold. So um, I just decided to get these ones. So I'll let you guys know how they go. I got some more of my favorite makeup wipes because they're on sale. Um, and then I got this. I used to... Um, have one of these ages ago, but it's just like one of those bun stylers. So you put your hair up um, And uh, you don't really need to use like an extension when you use one of these buns So you just put your hair up or low in a ponytail put this bun like at the base and then um, It actually comes with those clips, which is what I kind of wanted which just helps secure it and then like a uh, um, Headband, but this was like eight dollars from I think yeah, price line, $8, eight-piece set. But yeah, I've been into buns recently. I wore a bun um, with my ponytail extension. It was so hard to do um, for that event in Sydney. So I just thought while it was there, I just grabbed it. And that's actually it. We got some eggs because we needed some. And we just had some packet ham. We snack on this ham all the time. Peter got salami sticks because... We just wanted to have lunch at home um, because we got fresh food the other day. So we we're like, oh, why would we eat out when we've got fresh food? So yeah, we're just swapping over the cars now and heading home to cook. But I think I'll just end this vlog here um, so I can start editing it to have it up for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy tomorrow. It's going to be a busy start to the week. I've got so much to do before I go away. Riley is coming here because we are going on that brand trip together. I'm not sure if I can actually tell you guys who it's with and where it is, but I'm sure you'll find out soon. Whenever I can tell you guys, I will. Um, but yeah, that's super exciting. So we're going to fly out together from Perth to the secret destination. So I was like, may as well like come here for a few days before so you can see Perth, see my house, hang out. And then we can fly together because otherwise I'd be flying alone. And that's a long time to fly alone. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in my next video. Bye.